So, if you are new to this heat press world and you just bought a swing press, I'm pretty sure you're trying to figure out how to exactly use it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. Hey friends, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, what's up, hello. My name is Alex, I go by the Corporate Finesser, and this is a space made for women who are new business owners finessing gracefully along the way. Here is my heat press, and what I'm gonna do is just pretty much walk you through how to use it, meaning your settings, set your timer, explain to you what all the compartments are if you do have a swing press, and pretty much how to get more comfortable with using it when you start creating your products. Alrighty guys, so we're going to take a closer look as to how to properly use your swing heat press. Now, I got my heat press from eBay and I'll leave the description link below. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll leave the product link below in the description box. To be honest with y'all, I really do enjoy the swing heat press, but I feel like once I expand, I may switch out to the heat press that kind of just lifts up and presses down. So I'm just kind of getting the feel to see if I want to get that or not. So when you get your um, swing press, one thing that I do recommend is that, and just to be mindful that this is very heavy. So like these are metal plates and stuff. So just be mindful that when you're lifting it, always remember to of course like lift with your legs, not your back because this is a heavy machine. If you have this exact one, or if you're thinking about getting this exact one, then you're gonna have it look just like the way that I have it now. So when installing it, before I get to the, the settings, let me just kind of show you if you guys can see. Once you get the heat press, you'll have to connect like these little um, wires and just connect everything and just mount it. This literally just slides off like that. So what I did once I plugged up the cords that you see here, I just went ahead and just slid this in the little slot. Okay, there we go. I just slide it like that and it just stays in place. In the middle here, you have your handle. Always, 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 you guys, use your handle and do not press anything with these handlebars right here because when this heats up, it gets really hot. So please be careful. So you have your handle here. So every time you'll go down and press your shirt, it literally just operates just like that, okay? And then you can swing it whichever way you like. This is my right hand side, so I'm swinging it to the right. And then I can swing it over to the left as well. And you see, that's how it looks when it's swung. You have your foaming pads here, red and like a multicolor looking foaming pad. These are super important. Oh, let it focus, sorry. Okay, there we go. These are very important when it comes to your product, your merch, because what you do not want to do is remove these and just have your product pretty much exposed to this uh, base, okay? So just when you're pressing any item, always make sure that you keep the foaming pads in place so that way your product is protected. You're not burning your vinyl off or ruining your design. So now let's go to setting up the timer base. Mine's a little dusty, you guys, so. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the switch. Now for me, as you can see, it's heating up right now because my settings are already set. However, I'm gonna go ahead and press the set button. I'm gonna hold that down. Let it do its thing. Okay, so now you can see it's pretty much starting over. So I'm gonna use my, where it says F for Fahrenheit, I'm gonna select that to increase my time because it's gonna go with the time slot first and so I wanna set it to 13. Perfect. Okay y'all, so if y'all can see that, now that my time is set, I'm gonna press set again because now it needs to jump to where it says out and the temperature so that this section can be activated. So I'm gonna hold that down for about a few seconds until that first field is available. Perfect, you see it changes. So now you see that my SP, whatever that means for temperature, is at the top and now I can maneuver or change my actual temperature. So if I want it to go up, I can. If I want it to go down, I can. So your settings button is gonna be the best for you to just really set your heat press to whatever you, you, know, you need to. 
So I'm going to just keep pressing set until I get back on the screen that I want, which if you guys can see, I'm at 320 for 13 seconds. So again, you'll press your set button first to start out with your, your time, your seconds. And then you have to press it down for a little bit longer so that this top um, section will activate and then you can set your time, your temperature, I'm sorry, from there. So it's pretty much just setting set a few times um, just to get it to where you need to. Hey friends, so if you are enjoying this content so far, it would mean the world to me if you subscribed, liked, and commented to join the Finesse community. All right, thank you. Let's go back into the video. Okay, so now that your settings are complete, you have them all done, now you can go ahead and start pressing your designs. So it's a super quick setup. You don't have to do anything else other than set your time, set your temperature, and you are squared away. So now what I'm going to do is adjust my camera so y'all can see a little bit more. So as you can see here, I'm taking it by the handle, but what I wanted to show you before I press just a, a shirt, I just um, went ahead and printed out and cut a little design to show y'all how to press it. But what I wanted to show you is that if you ever need to pretty much see more of your shirt and you feel like the view that you're in is kind of limited. So what you can do is, again, take it by the handle and sometimes the heat press makes noise. I don't know why, but it does. So just take it by the handle. You can swing it whichever way that's easier for you. And as you see here, I'm pretty much just with like the tip of my finger, I can slide it. It's giving me a little resistance. I don't know why, but it just does that. So I can slide it because most cases I might need to see the actual design and actually just make more space for myself when I press the shirt. So I'm just going to go ahead and adjust my foam pads. Again, I'm using my fingers because this is really hot. That's hot. So again, just be very careful. But if you ever just feel like, oh, I just can't see anything. I need to see my design. Then you can always just slide it. Slide it in and slide it out. Don't slide it too far out though because you will slide it off the tracks. So I'm just gonna do a little bit, probably like in the middle. That's cool for me. I'm gonna swing it pretty much all the way around. Another thing I wanna show you guys is that, so this is my setup. What I ended up doing is I pulled my table out just a little bit because before this space my heat press was always touching my wall so another thing just make sure you have like the optimal space so that your swing press can swing and have its room so just wanted to share that tip okay so i have my shirt and i pulled out my my base or my i guess my plate i guess you want to call it that just a little bit i want to lay the shirt down Another reason why you would want to slide your plate out is because sometimes your shirt may not always slide underneath your swing press. And so um, just very carefully, you could do one of two things. You can just take your time and just tuck it underneath. I literally just like, I get really low to make sure I don't burn my fingers. <laughs> just to make sure like the collar and the top of the shirt won't get like scrunched up and wrinkled when I press it. So I want everything to fit over this plate. So I go ahead and I just make sure it's over there. But again, as a quality check, I can slide my plate out. So now I slide this out a little bit more just to make sure it fits. Okay, cool. And I can slide it back in Gotta give it some elbow grease. <laughs> and now it's all good. So now let's press the design. So I just quickly made a little cute heart. So using HTV, you're gonna always use the shiny side to put down when you're cutting and the matte side is gonna face you. So as you can see here, this is the side that when I press it, you're gonna see actual like more pigmented side versus the non-pigmented side 
y'all can see that. So I'm just gonna place it wherever I want on this shirt. All right, you guys, so full disclaimer, I'm filming this by myself, so I do apologize if things don't look as clear, but I just wanted to give you a closer look as to what it's gonna look like when you press a design. So again, I have my swing press, swung over to the right hand side. I've laid my shirt down. I've laid my vinyl down. It's the right way, so it looks really good. And now I'm just gonna press it. So you can touch this, it's still warm, but again, just be mindful of the plate under here and also just other pieces as well. And don't touch the top either, cause the top, yeah, that's also really, really hot. So just be mindful of like the areas not to touch so you won't burn yourself. So I'm gonna take my handle, I'm gonna swing it around. Now I'm gonna press it by pulling the handle down and you hear my timer go off. So now it's gonna count down. So sorry, it's not in focus, but it's just gonna count down from 13 seconds. Perfect. Lift up, the timer goes off, swing it away. And that is it. I'm gonna peel my vinyl to see if I need to press it again. It's really hard doing this with one hand, so just bear with me, y'all. It's kinda hot, so I just kinda go slow. Nice, I'm not getting that much resistance, so a one press for this design was really good. Look at that. Go over it like so. And there you have it. All right, you guys, so that concludes today's video on how to use your new swing press. If you have any questions, please leave me some comments below. I'll make sure I put my social media handles in the description box for you guys as well. As always, don't forget to drink your water, mind your business, and always choose yourself first, and I'll catch you in my next one. Peace out.